New details tonight about the teenager accused of taking a weapon to a KDISD school. 19 year old Thomas Scott Barfield was in court today looking scared and confused, and he talked so softly the judge had to ask him to speak up. We have spent a good part of the day learning more about that high school student who sparked that massive evacuation of 3,000 students. Uh, Jeremy Diesel is live in Richmond with more tonight. Jeremy. Well, jail officials here in Fort Bend County say that Thomas Barfield did pass an initial mental health screening here at the jail. He also agreed this afternoon to do an interview with me. And we were inside the jail in place and ready to go. And then Barfield, on his way to the interview, changed his mind and decided not to do that. Well, it has been a busy day for him. This morning, Barfield made a first appearance in Fort Bend County Court. Are you Thomas Scott Barfield? Yes, sir. He's read his rights and asked some simple questions. Uh, are you a United States citizen? Yes, sir. All right. Listen to the charges against him. Right. You've been charged with possession of a prohibited weapon. Uh, your bond set at $20,000. KHU 11 News has learned that the so called zip gun was similar to this, made primarily of pipe. But it was threatening enough that the bomb squad actually blew it up in a controlled explosion at the school yesterday. KDISD officials say that it was not just the so called zip gun, there was also a firearm found in the trunk of Barfield's car parked at the school. They would not elaborate what type of gun. Yesterday, ATF investigators also searched the house near Katy in the Canyon Gate neighborhood where Barfield lives. No word on what, if anything, they found there. Fellow students say Barfield's a nice guy, but doesn't talk much. He would be a person I would expect to do this, honestly, out of anyone else. But Why do you say that? Just because of uh, his history. with He made these little things with pens in uh, my freshman year. Um, and they would, like, pop with that. It's like a little, I'm not going to call it a bomb, but you know. It's and well before that. You like to make things with fire and all that. KDISD officials could not confirm anything about Barfield's disciplinary history. Fellow students say he was suspended in their freshman year. This is much bigger trouble that could carry two to ten years in prison. Are you asking for a court appointed attorney or are you going to hire your own? I, I'm hoping that we'll hire our own. Court appointed for now. Now, as of now, he is still in custody here pending that $20,000 bond at the Fort Bend County Jail. Sources here at Fort Bend County say that the 19-year-old's mother has been in contact with them, but has yet to visit her son in jail. Reporting live in Fort Bend County, Jeremy Diesel, KHOU, 11 News.